Hi everybody, I'm Adam Killian, and here we are on an audition film with two new guys. I will let you introduce yourself, tell us your name, and tell me where you're from. I'm Hunter Page, and I'm originally from around the Tennessee area. Hi, and I'm Dale Cooper, and I'm from Baltimore. And how old are you? I'm 18. I'm 25. I'm just rocking the cradle too. Yeah, oh, yeah, right. And where did you get these eyelashes? Because they are incredible. Those are from my mom. <laughs> yeah. Do you get a lot of commentary on them? I do. I get a lot of requests to do drag, and I can't do it. I'm what sure. Butterfly kisses. No. Mm -hmm. no? Well, you should try that later. <laughs> we'll see. I'm, I'm sure women love Nothing you. Nothing gets people hard. Oh, yeah. Are very jealous of these of these eyelashes. Um. So. Tell me a little bit about how you were in high school. Shouldn't be hard for you, that wasn't long ago. <laughs> <laughs> no, it wasn't. Um, it used to be. In high school, I had the best of both worlds. Uh, till about sophomore year, I was a wrestler for three years and I was the big jock. And then everyone kind of found out. And after that, I kind of turned more into a, a little bit of a, just a, an outcast. So, I mean, I've been both. Found out what? That I was gay. Okay. Yes. What weight class did you wrestle? I was um, started out 103, and then I think by the end of the third year, I was 119. I wrestled 119 my yeah. freshman year, though. <laughs> Were you good? Yeah, I went to state, and then I went to nationals in North Carolina. But nice. What did you like about wrestling, and what did you not like about wrestling? I don't like that everyone assumes that wrestling is really gay, because when somebody busts your nose open, then you don't, you don't think about getting a hard on. You think more of, you know, you just want to kick their ass, so... My favorite part of it, I guess, is just the aggression level. Yeah. yeah. I know lots of gay guys who are busting noses open, though, so. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. Wrestling wasn't very gay in high school. I think maybe the WWF is a little gayer, but the real wrestling was just a fight. Mm -hmm. I think the best part of wrestling was weigh-ins, though, when you could see everyone pretty much naked <laughs> weighing in and throwing up right beforehand. That was good. Yeah, I, I would... <laughs> so, what were you like in high school? What did you do? Did you play sports? Um, I was the opposite. No, I was the kid in the back of the bus reading The Hobbit. <laughs> with his knees up against the chair seat, basically. Yeah. And I was, I was covered in acne. I looked like a plague victim. Um, and then when I was 16, um, I finally got on uh, prescription medication for it, and I got contacts and changed schools. So it was like a whole new experience. It was great. And, and so you were a new man in your new school? I was a new man. Yes. Mischievous or what, what? Um, I wouldn't say mischievous. I, um, I, I went to a lot of. I was kind of one of those like go to coffee shops and talk kind of kids. So I did that a lot with my friends. Not too much mischievous. Go to concerts. It was pretty, I think, pretty standard. College. Yes, I did go to college, yeah. did that, um, in Rhode Island, and I enjoyed it quite a bit. What did you study? Uh, I studied uh, science and technology studies, anthropology, basically, of science. Is that something you want to keep going with? Are you, are you interested in that stuff? I, I do eventually, yes. Um, I'm hoping to actually go into a gender studies program after doing this. Gender studies? Political science. And I guess college... Uh, in the future? Yes. Um, <laughs> sometime, I'm thinking next fall, I'm going to start pre-pharmacy. So. Uh, do you know what schools you're looking at? Yeah, I'm looking at Vanderbilt or Belmont yeah. around the Nashville area. Um, it, it's going to take about six years to get my degree, and then I may continue on further than that. Yeah, but Southern boy, and you want to you stay there? Oh, yeah. You, you like I mean, it? I, I hate the South, but as far as school... Uh, I'm pretty. I, I like. I like the area I'm in. Why do you hate the South? <sighs> the South is horrible. <laughs> like, I, I've been, I've been to New Jersey and I've been out to um, California, the Anaheim area, and it's such. It's so much more open and. It, it's it's weird growing up in the Bible Belt. I grew up in Texas and I really enjoyed it personally. I I, I hear you about the Bible Belt. Maybe it's a different mentality than California or New York or mm -hmm. you know more liberal cities, I guess. Yes. Um, so what what excites you about being here? Like, what, this is relatively new for both of you. I think you... Just about... How, how many? You've done several movies? Yes. Okay. Yeah, but you've been 
This is kind of new for you? Yeah, this is still, I just did my, uh, I think I've done two or three scenes with, yeah. like, I was starting last month, so. I'm and what do, you, what do you enjoy about porn? <sighs> I don't know, it, it's, it's hard. <laughs> Well, okay, the, the attractive man and the sex does does help, but not just to sound, sound stereotypical, it's it's something that, you know, obviously I enjoy and it, it's not hard for me to, like, get into it. Like, once I warm up, like, and the shyness goes away, mm -hmm. like right now, mm -hmm. it's, it's just it's something that's easy. It becomes natural. Do you enjoy being watched? Oh, yeah. So you're a performer? Yes. That's good. And you? Um... I would say probably what attracts me most is paycheck. Um, <laughs> I, I enjoy that I get to, to travel for work. I get yes. to have a, a non-traditional work schedule um, so I can pursue my own interests and not have to do the 9 to 5 grind. And, you know. and I also like that I'm creating a project that, I'm creating a product, excuse me, that is only, like it's really only comes out of me. Right. So I don't have to, I mean obviously there's a lot of people whose work goes together into creating a film. Right. But um, there is, uh, but there is a sort of there is sort of this appeal in knowing that I'm creating something fantasies. myself. Um, well, there are some fantasies that I've been able to enact through porn, which have been great. Yeah. Um, did a really great gangbang scene once, which I enjoyed. How about uh, some future fantasies that you'd like to create? Future fantasies? I would like to do the gangbang thing again, but yeah. with more guys. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Really Gangbangs are good. Game based one of my favorites, not gonna lie. You know, it's, it's like this incredible, like, when else do you get that experience? It's a lot of work to organize that in real life. So when someone else can do it for you, that's, that's great. And definitely, porn is definitely uh, uh, a place for fantasies. So if you had uh, your ultimate fantasy that you could recreate or create for a movie for others to enjoy, what would it be? <sighs> And the and the world's your oyster here. You you can you can choose anything. What's your your greatest fantasy that you would love to see happen? It's right here. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's right here. I have to say that. Um, I I would have to say with me being like being an ex wrestler in the football thing, and I definitely locker room. Like it it's it's without a doubt locker, locker room was my biggest. That was my, one of my favorite things about wrestling. I guess. How about a wrestling scene? I still have my scene, but if y'all are thinking anything. Okay. So, note to the future, uh, I think we'll be doing some wrestling scenes, and uh, winner gets to top, or what? Oh, God. Um, <laughs> yeah, winner can top. Okay. We'll go with that. I, I like, I, I, I think that's a great fantasy. I think that's a, a common fantasy. I, I'm sure a lot of people would love that. Sports and locker rooms are very mm -hmm. uh, sexy. So, um, that, that's definitely in the future. I think we can we can do that. So, what would be um, maybe the craziest place you ever had sex? Did you in high school? Did you have sex anywhere that was kind of fun and dangerous? Or? Um, <laughs> fun, no. But <laughs> as far as dangerous, um, yes. I was also very revengeful when I first came out, and I got um, played by a guy. So the way I got back at him was I slept with his boyfriend in his bed when he was at work, and I don't think he knows it. But I did tell him I'm gonna be on the side so he can watch this. Yeah, he might know it now. So don't do that. <laughs> yeah, it, it wasn't smart, but oh well. We all have moments. And you, what, what, where's the most adventurous place you've ever had sex? Um, I mean, I've had a lot of sex outdoors, but I would say probably the most inappropriate. I was, um, I was doing a cycling trip across the country and we, we, my group was staying in an elementary school in mm -hmm. Nevada mm -hmm. and I actually um, had sex on one of the, you don't know if you know, you know those tables, like the little circular tables you put all together for the kids to all sit around and do craft projects right. and I had sex on one of those, <laughs> <laughs> which was really great. We, we did wipe clean everything to get sleep afterwards, but um, that's about, I don't think that'll happen again. That's nice. That's nice. That's nice. Um, so let's, if you, let's say a fantasy fuck, celebrity, or as, you know, it could be anybody, it could be a fictional character, it could be any movie star, if you could have sex with any person on the planet, real or fake, who would it be? I've got two, and they talk. Yeah. Um, 
Mark Wahlberg, um, of course, he's Boogie Nights was one of the biggest things. That one like like convinced me I wanted to try porn, and um, equally as hot to me, there's a porn star um, from Bellamy, um, Adam Archuleta. I will go to Russia and find him. <laughs> but those are my two. So I say a, a wrestling scenario with the two of the two of them and you. And uh, are you want me to get off now? <laughs> like, Come on, this is not fair. We'll, we'll see if we can set that up for you. Okay. <laughs> and Let you now. What would be your fantasy fuck? Um, fantasy fuck. One's fake. Um, I would probably say Daredevil because the heightened senses uh, thing. I think uh -huh. that would be really hot. Yeah. Kind of banging body. Um, and the porn star, I'd probably say uh, Colby Keller to go along with that. That's nice, that's nice. So, what's your favorite thing to do sexually? Favorite position or favorite act? Um, favorite position for me, uh, since I usually bottom as missionary, mm -hmm. um, but my favorite activity would be I like giving head because I'm good at it. So, that's good enough. Nice. Yeah, that's good to know. We'll definitely do that here. <laughs> Both of those, I guess, and you. Um, um, that's a good question. I really like body contact. I don't yeah. like any of this, like, you know, distant fucking. I like people to get together mm -hmm. and sweaty. I can see that. You're very wrapped around me. Very close. Cuddly. We've gotten really intimate in the past. Well, we do have a, we have, we have a love series with uh, Lucas Entertainment now, oh, which really? is much more geared towards body contact and, and more of a relationship and, and loving type of uh, connection. So it's not so... Romantic. Hardcore crazy sex, it's more about love and passion and, and connection. Which is well, I, I think there can still be a lot of passion even when people are close together, but I think it's more about like having like the close and touch. You can still be rough in that, but <laughs> you know, yeah, going up sweat. Nice, nice. Well, I, I'm looking forward to 